I mean, all credit has to go to Shion for starters. Um, she's the one that set everything up. We simply came on board to help in terms of putting a structure around her and the team and the federation. And, you know, with Nigerian sports, something that has always been lacking is the fact that there's never been a proper structure around the teams, especially when they're getting sent off and then when they're coming back. So it takes, it takes a good team, experienced team, to be able to actually deliver this. And this is something that we've done. The rest of the world saw it, that's how I put it, because corporate Nigeria, as usual, is always slow to react. But they came in very last minute, and we're always grateful for the fact that they came in, because within sports, I mean, there's no way that these athletes can get to where they want to, which is the ultimate goal of competing at the Olympics. And funding is paramount to all of that. So it's, um, it wasn't an easy task, but I mean, obviously, in terms of building content around them, making sure that they were relevant in the spotlight was what actually attracted a lot of corporates was tonight on channels television let's celebrate nigeria's team at the winter uh, olympics in pyeongchang cb dele adegwa is nigeria's first not just nigeria first african and black female skeleton athlete to compete at the winter olympics game it was a new experience for cb dele but you know what she made the continent so proud everyone is talking about her because first it was just about the bobsled team and then Simi Dele appeared i was like wow not three four ladies representing nigeria at the winter olympics in pyeongchang Simi Dele joins us now live on sports tonight Simi Dele, good to have you on the show thank you for having you me you must give me an autograph before you leave <laughs> what an experience it has been for not just you but for bobsled and skeleton in nigeria um Shewa and her friends came here to explain bobsled to us. I don't understand enough of skeleton. We don't know about all of this in Nigeria. What yeah. sort of experience was it for in Pyeongchang? Uh, Pyeongchang was really amazing. I mean, for me, it was the fulfillment of a lifelong dream. And I think to be able to make history for Nigeria was extra special. So I just enjoyed every moment and had fun with it. So it was all a dream. How did you, when did it get to you that this can be a reality? Well, about a year ago, I heard about Xion and her friends and what they were doing, and I was really inspired by that. So I decided to reach out to them and see how I could be a part of it. I tried out for the team, and then about five months ago, I tried out for Skeleton and started the Skeleton journey, and here I am. Look at that. Not just here, you've broken records. You've been to the Winter Olympics. What is Skeleton all about? Well, Skeleton... Uh, you have to be quite daring for the sport. So you're going head first down an ice track that's about a mile long. You're going about 80 miles an hour, so really, really fast. And you're just flying down, navigating twists and turns and getting to the finish line as quickly as possible. And why did you choose such a sport? <laughs> why? I, I felt that I had the skills to do it. And I think that's been the great thing about this. I'm discovering a lot of new skills that I didn't know I had. Mm. And I think that's really what we're showing people through this, that, you know, sometimes you think you can't do something. Yeah. If you just take a step, you can try. And Nigerians can do anything, really. I know we can do anything. <laughs> and I thought about you yes. when the Olympics was going on. I was in Madrid and I yeah. tried the virtual skeleton. Uh, the pictures will come on now, just in case you think it's easy. At the time I was done, with the virtual experience, I was like, we should give Stevie Daly a national award. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. And then you just go there with, with such speed. How do you get to control yourself on that board? <laughs> you really have to learn how to do it. It's not easy at all. But... <laughs> as, as my entire body was, I was like, as Stevie Daly goes on this thing with so much speed, <laughs> this isn't the real deal. But when I was done, <laughs> I gave you a round of applause right there. Thank you. Well, yeah, you have to practice. You have to continue to train for something like this. It's not something that feels very natural at all, but mm. with time, you learn what to do. Wow. <laughs> at some point, I was screaming, but I hope we will get to that point to so take off the video. <laughs> so, Mudele, how can we, from this point now, because uh, we've gathered so much love worldwide, how can we develop bobsled and skeleton in Nigeria? Yeah, I think what we've shown here is that we definitely have the talent in this country to be great. So what we've done is we've set a solid uh, foundation. Mm. We're still building though. So I think through this, we've shown people what's possible. We've inspired people. And from here, we just need to continue the momentum. Wow, that's the point. We need to yeah. sustain the momentum. And where are you based? In Johannesburg, in South Africa. Wow, 
And you mentioned that you, you're in South Africa. How close are you with your ties here in Nigeria? Yeah, the great thing about being in South Africa is I'm just a flight away. I mean, in five, six hours, I can get to Lagos. So mm. I'm close by, and any time I want to come, I can be here, my family's here, and I can see them. And for training, how, how, how do you do that? Well, see, the great thing about our sport is that you can really train from anywhere in the world. So I train to be fast, to be strong, to be powerful, and you can do that from anywhere. Now, when it's time to go to ice and snow, then you go to Canada, Europe, okay. other places like that. Okay. What are the skills needed to be a successful skeleton athlete? Yeah, so I think uh, you need to have some kind of speed. Hopefully, you, the push start is really important um, and be explosive and strong. Then from there, I think it's really about just being courageous, being aware of what your body is doing and being willing to learn the sport. Wow. That's it. Awesome. I think the courageous <laughs> part was what led me to try the virtual one. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I won't do it again. <laughs> so, Dele, thank you so much thank for you. stopping by. And um, well done uh, for thank putting you. Nigeria on the map. And you know what? Let's keep the momentum going. We will do that. Thank, Thank you, you for having me. Thank you so much.